The Centre of Climate Repair is fully focused on greenhouse gas removal on the one hand on, and on refreezing the Arctic on the other. So we're, we're developing techniques and technologies in both cases. And what is our objective in terms of greenhouse gas removal? I believe we've got to remove about 30 to 40 billion tonnes of greenhouse gases a year. And if we do that, we could reach 350 parts per million by the end of the century. This is gonna take far too long, which is why we have to buy time by this, sounds like an incredible idea, of refreezing the Arctic and possibly also the Himalayas and other parts of the world where we're losing ice. Here, let me just make a comment. Four degrees centigrade, forget it. We're never going to get to a world of four degrees centigrade with anything like the humanity survival rate that we have today. Remember what I just said, that uh, Vietnam underwater once a year by in 30 years time. Across the water from them, Indonesia, similar. The capital of Indonesia, Jakarta, if any one of you have been there, this wonderful, bustling, modern city built out of the tiger economy of Indonesia over the last 20 years, will not be livable within the next five to 10 years because of frequent flooding. And so Indonesia is now talking about moving its capital to higher land. So what, what we are talking about is a period when rice production in that part of the world collapses once you've been flooded with seawater, that's the end of rice production. It also includes, by the way, Southeast China, flooding of uh, paddy fields massively happening in just 30 years, unless we can manage sea level rise by stopping it happening up in the Arctic Circle region. So we're talking about very urgent problems. There will be no global economy like we know it today once rice production collapses like that. The wealthier of those countries, like China, will be on the global markets. The global markets will shut down. They won't let the export of food happen to that part of the world. That's the way we operate. We, are, we operate on a selfish basis. And so we're, we're just going to see the collapse of the global economy well before we hit four degrees centigrade. I do. Any questions?